Hey, welcome back to Time Machine Scale Models. Hey, I went on an adventure today. I'll tell you about it in a minute. Anyway, I'm sitting here on a Saturday night and I'm messing with the Nova. And I kind of decided to change directions a little bit. So I was going to build it curbside right out of the box. And then I started messing around with parts and, and everything. And I was like, you know what? That 60 Chevrolet pickup that I plan on doing is going to get a twin turbo LS from Iceman Collections in it when I build that thing. I bet I could take the six cylinder out of that truck and put it in this Nova. So that's what I did. It's loose in there right now, but I extended the motor mounts down there a little bit with some flat styrene. I don't know if you can see that a little bit. Still not secure. I still have some work to do. I got me a, a master cylinder out of the parts box. I cut up a firewall, added that. I got a battery and got it to fit in here. I have a radiator from the Monogram uh, 57 Chevy with the opening doors. I have one that the body is just, it's warped and it's cracked and all kinds of things. So it's basically a parts kit now. So I went and I trimmed it to fit and it fits right down in there nice. These wheels came in the 60 Starliner kit that I showed you. Um, a few days back on um, way back Wednesday so I had them still in the parts box because I didn't use them so now they're going to be put to use but anyway like I said I went on an adventure today I've been hearing about everybody picking up the California drag combo for $25 and under so I probably scoured five counties and went to umpteen Walmarts looking for this kit. Well, I didn't find it. As a matter of fact, there was only two Walmarts, I believe, that actually had kits, and they just had your run-in-the-mill kits that were um, sold over Christmas. Not even any of the good ones, really. I guess that's in the, the eye of the beholder of what's a good kit and what's not a good kit. Kits that I did not find um, desirable. So anyway... I traveled about an hour to another hobby shop because my local hobby shop didn't have this. So what I'm about to show you, I'm pretty excited about. Everybody's got one, so it's not like anything special, but I picked one up today. Yep, I got one too. I probably won't build this for a little while, but um, I have it. I also was going to pick up the stock one, but I just decided that today was not the day to do that. Being I was looking for the Cal California uh, Drag Combo Kit, the hobby shop that I was in um, sells it for $71.99. My local hobby shop sells it for $69.99. And to be honest with you, I just don't want to spend that much money on that. I mean, from what I understand, the Galaxy is a curbside. Um... I mean, I guess it's it's what you want to pay for something like that. And right now, I don't want to pay that for that. There's other kits out there that are around that price that I'd rather have more. So, back to the Nova. So, basically, this is uh, Mom's grocery getter that she's uh, handed down to Johnny. And Johnny decides he wants to put some nice wheels of the day on them. So, he's going to use these torque thrusts. And he's going to throw them on there. You know, with the big bad six cylinder. But um, that's what I'm going to do with it. I'm not going to do anything special. I, I'm going to go with uh, the color is artichoke heart green on the bottom. And I've got um, TS7 racing white, which is like an off-white cream color for, for the rough. So it is going to be a two-tone job. Now, I went and I uh, removed the molded in emblems and um, Nova, the Chevrolet on the hood I removed, and the Chevrolet on the rear hatch. I 
kit has the stickers for them and I think it would just be better to put the stickers instead of fussing with trying to bare metal foil or trying to dry brush them with silver later. So I think I've got all the parts. Like I said, I have a master cylinder. It's in the box. And uh, we're going to go with uh, manual brakes because every every master, master cylinder and brake booster that I tried is just way too big for this. So I figured, you know, uh, 1963 Nova, yeah, manual brakes. So um, it'll make a man out of you. So that's about it. That is the update for this bustling Saturday evening at uh, Time Machine Scale Models. Um, check back in the next couple days and this thing probably look a lot different. Thanks for watching.